Suppose p of x comma y is some binary predicate defined on a very small domain of discourse, just the integers 1, 2, 3, and 4. For each of the 16 pairs of these numbers, p of x comma y is either true or false according to the table below, where x values are the rows and y values are the column. For example, p of 1 comma 3 is false, as indicated by the f in row 1 column 3. So x equals 1, y equals 3 would be here, p of 1 comma 3 is false. Use a table to decide whether the following statements are true or false. For A, we have for every x, there exists a y such that p of x comma y is true. Because we need to consider every x, we need to consider the four rows. The row where x equals one, x equals two, x equals three, and x equals four. In order for this to be true, there must be at least one true in each row. Looking at the table, notice p of one comma one is true, p of two comma two, as well as p of two comma three is true. Notice p of three comma one, p of three comma two, p of three comma three, and p of three comma four are all true. But notice when x is equal to four, there is no value of y where p of four comma y is true, which indicates statement A is false. Another way to show that a statement is false is to show the negation is true. The negation of for every x there exists a y such that p of x comma y is true is there exists an x for every y such that p of x comma y is false, which we can see from the table occurs, which we can see from the table is true when x equals four. So because the negation is true, the original statement is false. For statement b, we have for every y there exists an x such that p of x comma y is true. Again here, because we have to consider every y value, we need to consider each column. The column where y is equal to one, y is equal to two, y is equal to three, and y is equal to four. In order for statement b to be true, there must be a true in each of the four columns. Notice p of x comma one is true when x is equal to one and x is equal to three. P of x comma two is true when x equals two and x equals three. P of x comma three is true when x equals two and x equals three. And P of x comma four is true when x equals three. Which indicates, which indicates for every y there exists an x such that P of x comma y is true, is true. For statement C, there exists an x for every y such that p of x comma y is true. In order for this to be true, we must have an entire row that is true. If there's an entire row that is true, there does exist an x for every y, such that p of x comma y is true. So looking back at the table, notice when x is equal to three, t of three comma y is true for every y, and therefore statement c is true. And then finally for statement D, there exists a y for every x such that p of x comma y is true. In order for this statement to be true, we would have to have an entire column that is true. If we have an entire column that is true, then there does exist a y for every x such that p of x comma y is true. Notice how we don't have an entire column that is true, and therefore there exists a y for every x such that p of x comma y is true is false. But again, maybe an easier way to determine whether the given statement is false is to show that the negation is true. The negation of there exists a y for every x such that p of x comma y is true is for every y there exists an x such that p of x comma y is false. So again, if we consider every column, meaning when y is equal to one, y is equal to two, y is equal to three, and y is equal to four, as long as each column has at least one false, then the negation is true, indicating the original statement is false. So notice p of x comma one is false when x is equal to two and x is equal to four. p of x comma two is false when x is equal to one and x is equal to four. p of x comma three is false when x equals one and x equals four. And finally, p of x comma four is false when x equals one, x equals two, and x equals four. 
This shows the negation is true, and therefore statement D is false. I hope you found this helpful.